You're watching the Sports Channel, because you obviously have nothing better to do with your day. At 5 o'clock we have a repeat of yesterday's repeat of last week's football. Then at 7.30 we have tennis, for some reason. And then at 10 o'clock we have the International Women's Mud Wrestling Championship. But now, it's the sporting event you've all been waiting for. Please welcome your hosts, Dave Flannell and Mark Cerny. Hello, I'm Dave Flannell. And I'm Mark Cerny. And this is the Camp Slaughter Finals. That's right, it's the sixth consecutive Camp Slaughter event brought to you exclusively by BT. We all thought there'd only be one, but here we are six years later and still going, with this year's match promising to be even gorier than normal. Absolutely. Last year was an away game, with our killer, Mr. Cheerful, relocating to the suburbs. That certainly was an exciting game, but I think we can all agree that Mr. Cheerful wasn't at his best that year. I completely agree, Dave. He certainly suffered, but not as much as our victims. <laughs> this year, he's back on home turf. Back in the creepy confines of Camp Cheerful, an abandoned summer resort that, for the past 15 years, had been home to the psychopathic serial killer, Mr. Cheerful. Mark, just what made Mr. Cheerful turn to a life of inflicting horrific pain onto random strangers? I don't care. That's the right answer. Now, let's have a look at the challenging team. This year we have another group of naive young teens. They've decided that they want to spend their last summer before college camping out in these lonely woods hoping to create memories that will last them a lifetime. And they will, but those lifetimes won't be very long. We have the arrogant jock who's only here to get laid. And we have the ditzy blonde cheerleader who will inevitably get laid. The odds on that pair surviving are terrifyingly low. I don't know, Mark. I think we have a couple of dark horses on our hands here. And that sort of judgement is what got you owing £30,000 to the Latvian mob, Dave. Next, we have the bookish nerd who has a love of horror films. What do you make of his chances, Mark? We've seen his sword do quite well in previous years, Dave. However, fortunately for the home team, he has a serious handicap. Is it the asthma? It is the asthma. You can't run very fast when you're struggling for breath. And let's not forget the dreadlocked stoner. Mr. Cheerful certainly won't. <laughs> Which leaves the favourite, an innocent, rational-thinking virgin. Now, if I was a betting man... You are, and it's a real problem. Then she'd be the one I'd put my money on. And those are our contestants, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, Mark, do the challengers know what they're in for? They were warned at the local petrol station, Dave. However, they did dismiss him as a crazy local. Well, that's all the warning we're legally required to give. Let's get on with the game. Now, Mr. Cheerful has started very strongly. He's kept himself hidden, but also made it very clear that he is hanging around. Agreed, Dave. That knocking on the door and then running away before someone answers is an old favourite. Yes, yeah, certainly is. Hanging up the dead squirrel in the bookish nerd's room, however, is a new trick. Do you think it's paid off? Judging by the way he's sucking on that inhaler, I'd say Mr. Cheerful has helped himself a great deal. I would too. Oh! Oh yes, we're getting some exciting developments coming through. It would seem that the blonde cheerleader and the arrogant jock, yes, we're confirming it now, they are in fact going off into the woods in order to have sex. Let's go over to our man on the scene, Frank Let Me Be. Frank, can you hear me? Hello Dave. Welcome back to Camp Cheerful. Here we are, in the centre of the action. We thought they'd be getting down to a bit of slap and tickle first of all, but no, they've got right down to it, like a couple of rampant rabbits. Ugh. Oh, it's glorious. Oh. Oh. Someone there? Shit, back to you, Dave. Thanks, Frank. Well, Mark is keeping an eye on the overhead angle. What's happening, Mark? Mark? Mark, oh, 2-0, cool. and, hmm, what? Oh, I'm sorry, Mark, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. We have some breaking news. In an unexpected development, Mr. Cheerful has made the dreadlocked stoner his first victim. He certainly has, and what a glorious move it is, Dave. Strangulation, it's an oldie, but it rarely fails oh, to yeah. disappoint. But, but stop me if I'm wrong, Mr. Cheerful seems to have spiced up the classic move, has he not? Very well spotted, Dave. Our old champion is using the blonde cheerleader's knickers as his primary weapon. Amazing. Mr. Cheerful certainly knows how to keep the audience hooked. And it seems Mr. Cheerful is moving on to his next victim. The arrogant jock? It certainly is. <laughs> And it seems Mr. Cheerful has chosen the shovel. 
I wonder how he's going to. Oh, good old bludgeoning. Another move from the old days. Mr. Cheerful does seem to be in a nostalgic mood today, doesn't he? It certainly he? does, Dave, and that only adds weight to the rumours flying about of Mr. Cheerful's imminent mm. retirement. Oh, what's this now? It would seem that the blonde cheerleader has stumbled onto Mr. Cheerful and what remains of the arrogant jock. Seems like she's shocked to see him get banged twice in one night, eh? <laughs> You've been planning that one all night, haven't you? Oh, oh, and she's off. It's Blonde Cheerleader in front. Blonde Cheerleader taking the lead now. Mr. Cheerful pulls up behind. Blonde Cheerleader makes a turn. She turns to the right. Blonde Cheerleader pulling ahead now, ducking a branch, jumping the trunk. It's Blonde Cheerleader going to make it. What's Mr. Cheerful pulling out? It's a knife. A knife in his hand. Mr. Cheerful lunges. He scores. Blonde Cheerleader is out for the count. What a thrilling chase that was. Reminds me of the good old days, Dave. Yes. Well, Mr. Cheerful is in the lead with three kills under his belt so far and the two remaining victims still unaware as to what's coming to them. During the half-time, we'll be talking to veteran slasher killer Freddy Krueger. Oh, Freddy. Yeah, yeah and be getting his opinion on Mr. Cheerful's performance so far. Will the two remaining victims survive or will Mr. Cheerful get a perfect score? Join us after the break to find out. Mm -hmm.